Okay, when you opened me up, um, this is what you're met with, and I'm going to guide you through how this works, so you can put your own name in, uh, your, your own year in, uh, and your own targets. Um, up in the top part of me up, there's some boxes here for entering your different uh, grades that you've got from the cards that you've used in lessons. There's also a little thing down here for some tests that your teacher might want to give you. So I'm just going to enter my name in here, and I'm going to give myself the name J Blogs. If I was in year seven, I would type year seven in there. And if my target for that particular year, which I'd find out from my teacher, was 5.4, uh, then I would type that in there. These red graphs, which start here, show me the target for each one of the AFs. Down the bottom, by default, you've got uh, the three targets that you need to work most on. Um, it starts off saying AF1, and it gives you the same advice here. Uh, that will change when we put in some uh, data from the cards that you use in lessons. So let's do that. Um, I've got three cards here um, from thinking scientifically and considering evidence. Um, a teacher, uh, my teacher, will have said that I'm worth level six. So I'm going to put that in. Uh, from planning scientific investigations, uh, I've got level five, so I'm going to put that in. And we're going to put level five in from here. Uh, and then I'll show you what happens down here when you put your data in. So 1.2. My teacher said I got level 6, so I'll pop level 6 in there and press enter. What happens straight away is that my graph changes to show that uh, I'm already working um, so far beyond my target grade, and that's good. So let's put in uh, AF 4.1, and that's all about planning investigations. Uh, so I'll come over to 4.1 and put my data in. I've got level 5 here, so I'll put my data in, and as you can see, well, it's not quite near my target level for the year, but it's it's pretty close. Maybe I can work on that later on. Um, for evaluating investigations, 5.1, uh, I have to weigh up the good and bad things about what I did. Well, 5.1's there, so I'm going to put my data in, uh, and I got a level 5. And that shows me that out of the uh, different assessment focuses for science and um, I've got three pieces of data in. You'll get more of these pieces of data as you go throughout the year. What about if I have a test? Well, um, if I have a test and let's say I get a level 5.2, my teacher decides, then this dark green bar just represents the average of all of the different tests that I've been given. Down the bottom I've got some advice. The worst three they're the only three, really, are the AF4 uh, and my tests. But let's put some of the data in and see what happens. Let's say I go and do something with uh, communicating and collaborating in science. Uh, that's AF3. So let's say, for example, I had a 4 and a 3 because I had a bad cold that day and I didn't really understand what was going on. Well, that would tell me straight away that this advice down here changes to tell me that I really do need to work on my AF3. Well, I go back to class and I haven't got a cold and I'm not feeling ill. And the next time we have to communicate with other groups and collaborate with them and help each other out, uh, I do really well and I get a 6. So I put 6 in and all of a sudden my average for AF3 um, goes up. I'm not satisfied with this 4 mark, so the next time I'm looking at collaborating in science, uh, I get a AF 3.1 card and have another go. I do much better here and I get a 5 uh, and then my average for AF 3 uh, has gone up so much that it actually goes past my target for the year. So we don't see AF 3 in my targets anymore and my targets change. At the bottom are some boxes um, eventually these will hyperlink to uh, a small website with some advice about how to get better at each of these different aspects of science. But that's it. We have our data up here, we have our targets in red, and we have how we're doing uh, in light green for all of our assessment focuses for how we're doing in science lessons, and for the topic tests or the end of term tests uh, that your teacher might give you um, you can put your levels in here like that. The advice is in these boxes and eventually there'll be some advice links down the bottom.